Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to explain the different kind of attributes you can use in Game Salad. One of the most common questions are uh, for an explanation on what each different kind of attribute um, does. And uh, it gets explained, um, but people lose track or, or are just afraid to use it. Um, I myself ain't even an expert yet on um, the different kinds of um, attributes. Um, and for the first uh, year and a half, I always used uh, integer or real. I never really used boolean, text, index, or angle. Um, mainly because I myself didn't understand um, exactly what to do with them. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through them for you today and hope that by the time you finish watching this video, you have a better uh, grasp of the different kind of attributes and um, maybe you can start using them in your game. The first you'll notice is Boolean. Um, and Boolean is a true or false. Uh, it can't be a number, it can't be anything else. It's plain and simple. It's true or it's false. Um, so in this rule, I have um, when mouse is inside the box, um, change it to true otherwise change it to false. So if the mouse is not inside the box it's false but as soon as it goes in the box you'll see it turns to true. Right? So this is just a way um, that we could check a true or a false statement. Um, so if something is happening it's true, if it's not happening it's false. Um, and it's very simple to use. We'll go in here, boolean, and it's just as simple as change to true or change to false and you just type it in there. You don't, ha you don't hit the E or anything you just um, just type in true or you type in false. So I have when mouse position is inside, change boolean to true, otherwise just change it back to false. And I'll hit preview and there you go, true or false. And now with that you can do all sorts of stuff. You can say when, you know, when that boolean is true, uh, destroy the actor or um, you know, spawn new actors or change the score or whatever. So you use that true to um, trigger other events, which is really cool. I end up using Boolean almost all the time. When I uh, first started, I would always use integer, and I would go from 0 to 1. So if it was 0, it was false. If it was 1, it was true. And I would just change it from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, because um, I really didn't understand true or false. Um, let's move on to text attribute. Basically, text attribute is just a string uh, for text. Uh, if you want to add words or you know any kind of typing, that's what text attribute does. So I'll just click in here, and you see as I click, it adds an extra R to the string. Um, and I just have that in here. Um, we'll go into text attributes. And I have, when touch is pressed, change the text attribute right there to text attribute dot dot quotation R quotation and what that basically means is it said it means take whatever text attribute is there now and add the R to it so the dot dot is basically the separator between what was there and what's coming and um, because it's a text we're gonna put it in quotations so that way the system knows it's just a piece of text and what that produces is this Right, so it's just in anything text, and you can just go in here and, and say you wanted to just type in uh, blue because um, the text attribute simple. Hit preview, and now it says blue, and I click, and it adds an R beside it because I told it to. Um, so that's plain and simple for text. Now for integer, integer is like a cross between index and uh, real and a whole bunch of other stuff. But um, the main things to notice about integer is it doesn't really handle um, decimal points. Um, as you can see, I'll go into here and I'm going to go into my integer and you'll see I already have it set to 137 but I'm going to set it to 137.3 and now when I click outside that box it's changing it back to 137. It doesn't want the decimal point. Um, if I would have done 137.6 it's going to round up to 138 okay so it rounds up or down depending on the decimal point and in here I have when touch is pressed let's change that number to that number plus 35.666 now you'll notice when I hit preview and I start clicking it's adding but it's not adding any decimal points because it's rounding up so integers are good for anything that's a positive or negative whole number alright so you could have you know I could put in here you know, uh, negative, so I'll put minus sign, you know, negative 38, 
or 138 and hit preview and now you can see it's a negative and now that I'm adding to it and now I'll go into the positive so integers are when you have negative or positive whole numbers now you can use that for so many things you know adding to your scores or um, subtracting stuff from points or from um, different elements of your game uh, it's very versatile but it's not for decimal places um, when it comes to decimal places you want to use something called a real attribute and that's mainly when you're you know controlling time or you know mouse position or um, an actor's location um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my mouse inside this box here and you're gonna see how it's displaying so right now my mouse is at um, I have it set for X value so it's having a display text of X 139.094 that is the exact location of where my mouse is right now and as I move it it changes alright and because it's um, a real attribute it can get right down to the decimal points and um, it's really valuable when you're trying to place actors or move actors from one spot to another or gather the actors location um, so that, that's very important for for locations and for time because if you want uh, milliseconds and stuff like that you wouldn't want to put it in the decimal um, and I'll go ahead and I'll just quickly change this display to self dot uh, time and you can see it running here oh, hold on one second display text uh, self dot time let's uh, Oh, I'm in the wrong one. That's an integer. Let's go back to real, and I'll display self time preview, and now you can see the time just ticking away. All right. So, like I say again, it's good for time and positions of locations and mouse positions and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn uh, the integer one off really quick. I'm going to hit preview again, and now we're into angles. Um, basically, an angle is an attribute uh, that can go from 0 to 359. Uh, once it goes greater than 359, it just goes back to 0. Um, and that's good for angles and rotations of actors. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click down, and you're going to see that this box is constrained to my, um, my mouse position and the rotation. And you're going to notice when I get down to the 360 here, let's do that again, when I get down to zero, it's going to jump right back up to 359. See? So it goes from zero to 359. So as you know, there's 360 degrees, and um, it just basically goes around and around. Can't be higher, can't be lower. Um, just simply zero to 360 uh, degrees. I almost never use this, um, but it is there if you need it. Now, index is great. I use index a lot. I use it for score. I use it for level unlocks. I use it for collecting things. Um, what index does is it's a, it's a positive number. It can never go negative of whole values. So one, two, three, four, five. No decimals, no nothing. It's just basically, um, think of a spreadsheet going from one to infinity. Um, no negatives, no nothing. Um, so right now, it, let's say you have um, a time, and you have a timer, and you say every every second remove one of the times. So if you have 100, 100 of them, and you say every second remove one, they go 99, 98, 97, 96, all the way down. But when it gets to zero, and it's still going to try to remove, um, you'd be into negative one, negative two, negative three, but you don't want a negative time. So you would use an index. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, and as you see, every time I click, it's going lower and lower and lower but once it gets to zero that's it it won't do anything else no matter what so you can avoid a lot of trouble in your game um, from negative numbers by using an index uh, attribute uh, and again I use it for everything uh, you know because your unlock levels it's level one level two level three level four it, it's never minus level two and it's never a decimal point um, so it's always a whole number and it's always positive so index is one of the most valuable to me uh, for attributes but that's pretty much it for the six attributes that you can choose in game salad I hope I explain them properly I'm sure um, other people have a few extra comments that they would add to this but um, I think I pretty much covered the basics and uh, I hope you have a better understanding and um, 
head on over to gshelper.com. You can download this project file and give it a play. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.